you can see, this is how PGA Tour player gets ready for to play in their tournament. It's all about getting ready, flexibility, feeling good. So this is Guy Burrow's wedge, and you can see why he's pretty consistent. So we're here with Larry. This is uh, Guy's caddy for the week. And uh, Larry, tell us what you kind of learned here this week, seeing the guys play. Well, the uh, difference is uh, their practice is they're always working on their weaknesses. Mm -hmm. If they see something yesterday, uh, they work on it after the round. Then they're loosening up here. But they don't all just practice with the intent of hitting a bucket of balls. Mm -hmm. what the quantity has nothing to do with the quality. Bad practice only makes your bad habits really repetitive. Practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes you better. Buddy Guy Burroughs, and uh, we're getting ready to tee off here at the Price Cutter Charity Championship. Uh, main thing I want to do is educate golfers on what it really takes to improve and uh, to play at a high level. I mean, you don't have to be a PGA Tour player to know how to practice and how to play. So, Guy, what advice would you give to the average golfer that really is having a hard time improving? You know, like the most important thing with golf, I think, is repetition. And, uh, you know, I always try to emphasize uh, balance and tempo mm -hmm. in the golf swing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, if you can always go out and just, if you can practice, you know, if you really want to improve your score, I think uh, chipping and putting is going to be with most, most places where you're going to improve your score. So we're here at the uh, practice putting green at Highland Springs before the prize cutter and uh, as you can see the tour pros they really work on lining themselves up and the caddies are just helping them get in the right mode here before they tee off. So much of it is alignment. Once these guys get aligned, then it's just making a consistent stroke. He's not even hitting to a target, as you can see. But then with the golf swing, you know, balance and tempo are the two most important things I think in the golf swing. trying to do the same thing over and over again. Awesome, awesome. Um, what advice would you give to the kind of up and coming guys? What it really takes to play at this level? Because I don't think a lot of people understand how good you guys truly are. You know, it's uh, you know, it's funny how I play a lot of places where they have a young kid that can't miss on a local golf course. And uh, for an up and coming kid, I, I'd advise him just to go play as many tournaments as he can. Yep. Try to get uh, other golf courses, you know, different golf courses. Everybody always plays great. 
you know, at the home course, it's a little different when you get to a new golf course that you may have one practice round. And, you know, just to get out and play and uh, play as much as you can in as many different tournaments as you can. And, you know, positioning yourself, you know, on the golf course, and I, I watched you play before where you just know, you kind of, I like to say, perform surgery on the golf course, and it's like, you know, your irons are precise, but what is it, you know, it's all about knowing where you need to land and knowing how your distance is. It, it's uh, important to know, you know, and a lot of people I quote play with might hit an 8 iron 150 yards once in their life. Yeah. So that's, when they get 150, they hit 8 yeah. iron, you know, yeah. and, uh, you know, it's I, game, golf's a game that misses. You, even on the, on the PGA Tour, you get players who might hit a perfect one or two, three times a day. Exactly. You know, and I always kind of play, you know, if I hit it good, hit it solid, and I'm a little long, you know, yeah. great, I hit it good. But usually I'm going to miss hit it a little bit, and it's going to cost me a couple of yards. So if I'm usually in between, you know, I'll take the extra club and try to swing a little easier, a little smoother. So how important is it <laughs> for a teacher to, to have a teacher to teach you the fundamentals, get the right equipment, all of the links, you know, uh, really if, if you don't have an instructor in it, I would say just get not too technical, but the basics in, exactly. you know, and get people hitting it solid where they have a good time and they can actually get around the golf course. It makes it a lot more fun. Because you got to play golf. Ultimately, it's just golf is just hitting your target and yeah. scoring, you it's, know, uh, and that's what it's all about. You know, sometimes it's an easy game and sometimes it's the hardest exactly. game in the world. Exactly. Well, I appreciate it. Guys. All right. My pleasure. Good luck today.